What's good guys, welcome back to Ron Dry's News, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where Revealed is the 2022 Fiat Toro and Stellantis is coming out with a mid-cycle update for the Fiat Toro small pickup truck assembled in Brazil. Now the unibody truck has been around in Latin America since 2016 and some people might not know that it's a Ram 1000. At 193.5 inches, 4,915 millimeters long, and 72.6 inches, 1,844 millimeters wide, is 2.2 inches shorter and 2.4 inches narrower than the recently unveiled Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now that the two are competing, since the Fiat Toro won't be coming to the United States with a Ram badge, new for the 2022 model year are the updated split headlights with the upper sections featuring a full LED setup acting as the turn signal and daytime running lights. Now the fog lights are also switched to light emitting diodes and the main clusters are thinner than before while using LEDs on the upper spec trim level. Now the more obvious change is the front grille as it now features a Fiat logo with large letters to mirror the corporate identity used by other recent products of the Italian brand, including the smaller Strada pickup aka Ram 700. Now fresh alloy wheels are debuting with the facelift and vary in size from 16 to 18 inches depending on the trim. Now while the exterior hasn't changed all that much, the interior has been subjected to more significant changes. Chief of which is the portrait styled infotainment system measuring 10.1 inches and similar in appearance to what you'll find on Ram's American trucks. Now it's the optional touchscreen as the lesser versions have a landscape display with either a 7 or 8.4 inch diagonal. Now even the base model gets a 7 inch fully digital instrument cluster. And Fiat also did a big update under the hood where introducing a new turbocharged 1.3 liter engine feeding on gasoline and ethanol. Now it pumps out 185 horsepower and 200 pound feet, 270 newton meters of torque. And that's channeled exclusively through the front wheels with a six speed automatic transmission. Now, depending on the engine, both 4x2 and 4x4 versions are available. And the most competent in terms of hauling is a 2 liter turbo diesel with 170 horsepower and 258 pound feet, 350 newton meters sent to both axles through a 9 speed automatic. Now, the 2022 Fiat Toro is now available in Brazil with the following trim structure Endurance, Freedom, Volcano, Ranch, and Ultra. Pricing will kick off at $21,000 and rises to $34,400 based on the current exchange rates. So with that said, what do you guys think about the updates to the 2022 Toro? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a thumbs up will help get it up in rankings. And we can have a bigger discussion on the Ram 1000, aka the 2022 Fiat Toro. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation from my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel, help support your boy. You can always check out the Ron's Rides merch, getting t-shirts, stickers, hoodies, everything Ron's Rides. Check me out on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, see everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you won't miss one so you won't miss one news video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.